Good morning, everybody. My name is Shada Tarabi, and I work at WP Engine. I'm going to spend some time this morning talking about community, networking, how to take care of your personal brand, and go through some stories of what that means to me. So my talk is called You Have Two Hands, and I'll get to the punchline in a second. Um, I want to talk about myself a little bit because I think it helps give context to where I'm coming from when I say some of the things I'm about to say in the next 30 to 35 minutes that I have with you guys. Um, I'm on Twitter as Shap Tora. My name is Shada Tarabi, so it kind of was an easy Twitter handle to create. Um, I've been using WordPress for over nine years. That's a long time. I'm sure some of you have, have me beat in that number, but WordPress has been around for about 15 plus years, and so for a good chunk of it, I have dabbled with WordPress. I now work for WP Engine on the product marketing team, and so it's a really great opportunity for me to take my love of WordPress and really help bring it to market through one of our um, hosting solutions. I have a bachelor's in communications and an MBA in business, and I like to think of myself as a dot connector. So I say that piece of information to kind of get you guys thinking this morning because part of my talk is going to be interactive. I'm going to ask you guys questions, and I hope that you engage with me this morning can everybody just, you know, give it like a little woo this morning? Woo! Are we awake? We're awake. It's Saturday morning, and you guys are here at WordCamp, and it's, what, around like 10.30 in the morning? Way to go. Yes, this is a really great thing that you guys are out. For those of you who it's your first time, for those of you that it's your 50th time, you came here for a purpose, and I'm hoping that today I can help shed some light on how to maximize that, that value. And those of you who know Russell, uh, Russell is the organizer of WordCamp Las Vegas. And man, can I say this mic is heavy? It's really heavy. <laughs> um, it's unnecessarily heavy. It's unnecessarily heavy, yes. I wanted to include this picture and actually also include a little tidbit about myself. I used to manage bands. So when Russell came up with the theme of kind of this like WordPress poetry world tour, I fell in love with it because I come from the music industry and I love live music and I love that music for me was a way to connect uh, music, musicians, the style of creating music to the passion that we all feel when we get to hear a song that we like or see a band that we love. And so you'll see some imagery throughout my presentation and just a little fun fact, yeah, I came from the music industry and I'm in technology and it's wonderful, I love it. So the punchline is you have two hands. One is to help others, yes, and the other is to help yourself. Do you want to put the mic in the stand? Because it's so heavy. I want to, I'm like a mover rounder on a stage. Yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We're going to like get a workout this morning of holding the mic. But yes, so it's this concept of thinking about being a part of the WordPress community and leveraging those who are involved in it to help you grow yourself, grow your brand, grow your business, grow your network, but then also to take those great things that make you, you and give back to the community. So everybody in this room, let's see a show of hands. Do you consider yourself an expert in something? growing expert, do you identify yourself as somebody who has certain skills about you that maybe somebody else doesn't share? Okay, thank you for, yes, entertaining, putting your hands up, yes, 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 yes. The whole idea is that you are unique and you bring something to this community, to Las Vegas community, to the WordPress community, to this world that nobody else really does. And so how do we tap into that and how do we harness it and not only grow our business, but then help other people out? Because that's what we're all here to do is help make our community, our you know, city, our group a better place to be for everybody. So I'm gonna start by telling you guys a story. Has anybody ever seen this image before? Nobody's ever seen it? <laughs> it's a cute bunny and he's in a box. So this is um, a bunny in a box and I want to kind of engage with you guys and ask you what do you think this bunny is doing in this box? Is it Schrodinger's bunny? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's try again maybe. What is the bunny doing in the box? He could be rowing a boat. He could be... Anybody? He's, he's giving a speech. He's building a website. Thank you, guys. Okay, so we all, maybe you're not talking about it, but you have an idea of what this bunny may be doing with this box, right? Whether you're saying it or not, you have an idea of what this bunny is doing. I'm here to tell you that this bunny is sitting in a race car. It's not a box, it's a race car to bunny. Um, this was a story shared with me by a friend of mine when I was kind of, you know, thinking of a way to, to kind of introduce this talk and the way that I wanted to kind of have it resonate with you guys is you all showed up today to this building, to this city if you're not from Las Vegas, with preconceived ideas about what you were going to get out of WordCamp, about the people that you were going to interact with and the things that you were going to learn. Right? Correct? We all came thinking of, of something that was going to happen today. 
forget all of it. Knock it all down. We're breaking down, breaking down walls. This bunny was sitting in a box that could have been a handful of things. To Bunny, the box was a race car. To somebody, it was building a website. To somebody else, he's, you know, um, sitting in a boat or giving a speech. We're all showing up with these ideas that we think that we know what's going on. And in reality, we might, but we're also putting ourselves in a position to not be open to learning with uh, these walls broken down, basically. So, ooh, word cancer. So kind of leading into that, this is um, a sticker that my company has created. So if anybody wants a sticker, we have some in the back. But I wanted to kind of use it to signify you guys showing up to WordCamp today. You're showing up because you wanted to meet somebody, because you wanted to gain a new skill that you think that you did or didn't have before, because you wanted to contribute back to the community, because you're new, because you wanted to learn. WordPress is amazing because it creates a space for us to exist and learn and explore with each other. But part of that equation is showing up. And part of that equation is engaging. So if I decided to, let's put myself on the spot, be a part of the WordPress community, which I have been for some years now, I have gone to so many WordCamps and I sat in the audience just like you guys. I sat and I listened and I absorbed and it was, a, it was an amazing experience. There are some amazing speakers, way more qualified than myself here today that you will learn some amazing ways to make your websites better, to make the way that you interact with WordPress better. But what I'm here to kind of share with you is at the core of that, we are human beings and we bring greatness to the people, the communities, and the experiences that we interact with every day of our lives. Do you guys consciously acknowledge that? Do you think about that when you walked into the room this morning? Were you expecting to change somebody's life? Yes, some people are thinking about it. Russell's always thinking about it. Russell is definitely somebody who wants to, to impact other people's lives. You know. Part of me giving this talk is a way for me to express myself, express the gratitude that I've received from WordPress, and hopefully help motivate you guys. Um, I reflect back to some of the times where I've you know, been given a pep talk by somebody of, you can do that, or you should totally go up there and speak in front of a group of people in a WordPress community, because you do have something to say. And so I'm here through the next you know, couple minutes to tell you that you also have a voice and it's important and you can leverage it in this community and you can also leverage it in everything else that you're doing throughout your life. So I kind of shared what I was great at in the beginning. I am a dot connector and when I say dot connector, I am constantly thinking through everybody that I have met and understanding what makes them great to where if I meet somebody new and you tell me that you you know, wanted help with fixing out, you know, a certain plugin that you're having trouble with. I can think in my head and kind of picture who to go introduce you to. It's something that I've been doing my whole life. I love connecting other people to ideas, to communities. And so for me, that's a way for me to kind of give back to you guys. So I want you guys to think about that. What makes you great? Does anybody want to share what that is? Come on, it's Saturday morning. Yes, this is yes, you, please. Fabulous. Is it anybody's first time this morning? First WordCamp. First WordCamp. All you amazing first timers, thank you for being here, first of all. And then your name? Carrie Karen. Carrie Karen? Carrie would be a great person to go connect with. And so if you didn't know Carrie before, maybe hopefully after this, you can go talk to her and ask her some questions because she'd love to help you get connected. Anybody else want to kind of share something that they think that they're great at? Yes. Ladies. <laughs> Part-time superhero, I love it. You guys have things that make you unique. Does anybody else here do hair? Yes, some people here and here see. So do you guys, do you know each other? Kind of, sort of? See, this is good. You're helping, you're helping validate my whole feeling behind what makes the WordPress community great and what it means to kind of tap into that. Um, I was at WordCamp Salt Lake City last week and they shared something that I found really, really valuable and I've seen it happen in a few other WordCamps and so I thought I would share it with you today and Ben Fox touched on it this morning. Um, he challenged you guys to talk to one stranger. Salt Lake City challenged us to talk to three strangers. Three. 
that's not, still not a big number. There are so many people in this room alone who you can go introduce yourself with, share a story, share what you are good at, and hopefully listen to them and learn something from them. So part of that and what I wanted to touch on because I love social media and marketing is how do we think about ourselves? How do we think about the way that um, we can benefit from meeting people, but how do we present ourselves in the first place? Um, so I pulled my Twitter. Sorry, it's kind of uh, pink and highlighted, but hopefully it can shed some light on what I'm trying to convey to you guys. Um, one of the most important things is taking advantage of the things that you think that you are great at and sharing it with the world. I'm talking about Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and whatever social media that you guys are on. And yes, I know some of you are very active on social, but there's a lot of people who don't necessarily think that social is important to helping them grow their network or helping them get connected to people who can help them grow their business. Um, so for me, again, I love rock and roll. I think that I'm very um, fortunate to come from the music industry. And so for me, it's a way to recognize where I came from and where I'm going. So my profile talks about being involved in the music industry, how I love storytelling, that I work at a digital company, and that I'm a marketer. And so if there's somebody who wanted to get connected to talking about any of those things, they can easily identify that by how I talk about myself online. Um, there are people who I've seen, you know, kind of put little silly things in their Twitter profile. It's a waste of space. You have to take advantage of the way that you are presenting yourself online because that's a way that, for example, in the WordPress community, people are going to go find you on Twitter. I just alone this morning have probably had 15 to 20 Twitter conversations with people who are in and not in this building all about WordCamp Las Vegas. And so, right, come on, that's kind of exciting. Like, we are having conversations with people who are not in this room, who might be in another room, who are in another state, and they're considerate and caring about what's going on at this WordCamp. And so, social is a great place for you to get involved, and so just taking the time to make sure that your profile speaks to the type of person you are, the passions that you have, the way that you can give back to somebody else will help them identify you and get connected with you easier. Um, Another thing that I really wanted to point out that I kind of just changed and added into the presentation is talking about kind of the frequency of publishing. Um, so yes, this is definitely a community talk, but in the essence of being accessible and being uh, you know, somebody who people can go to and know that they speak truth, the consistency that you post on your social media sites is pretty important. Um, I find that I'm a very active person, and so when somebody wants to go connect with me and they're going to my social profile, if they don't see that I haven't posted in the past week, I might still tweet at them, right? Like a week's okay. If you see somebody hasn't posted in a month, it's still kind of like, you know, okay, maybe they're busy, they're not keeping track of it. But if you don't see somebody's posting, you know, in let's say months or even years, you're not active. And Twitter's not the only one, Twitter's just my example, but it's a way to be connected to your audience. And so if you are not actively having that voice, letting people come find you, using the right keyword to talk about yourself, it just you're doing yourself a disservice of growing your network. And so a way to do that is just by being proactive. So this one got some interesting feedback in Salt Lake City. Um, what if you talked to a stranger today? What would happen? Anybody want to tell me? They wouldn't be a stranger. They wouldn't be a stranger. That's great. Somebody in Salt Lake City said, you know, they might bite me, but... <laughs> Hopefully none of you are biting people, but it's definitely scary. Um, how many of you love talking to strangers? There's a lot of you. That's wonderful. How many of you don't like talking to strangers? My good friend Taylor in the back. He, you're very personable, Taylor, but yes, I can understand. It's part of us. We don't necessarily like getting ourselves in uncomfortable situations, and I think that um, it's definitely worth calling out. You guys already showed up this morning, so kind of going back to your first time at WordCamp, you're not a first timer at WordCamp, you might know some people. This is a safe space. You are with people who value and trust and respect WordPress first, right? We all love WordPress. Who here doesn't know what WordPress is? Nobody, yes, that was a good one. You all know WordPress, great. First question is out of the way. That's super simple. So you can go connect with everybody. Great question to ask is what do you do with WordPress? And then let the conversation flow from there. Um, Part of it is just making sure that you guys are consciously thinking of interacting with each other and getting out of your comfort zones. I myself am very prone to this. I show up to events, I show up to parties, I show up to networking events, and I hang out with my friends. 
because I like them, because I wanted to go know my friends better. That's the worst thing. I know my friends. They're great. They're going to be there. But going to networking events, going to word camps is an opportunity for you to connect with people who you don't know, who might be able to share with you a new way of looking at WordPress, who might be able to share with you a new plugin that you might be able to utilize and leverage for your site. So this hopefully is some sort of motivation for you guys to connect with each other because as much as it is important for us to connect online, it's also important for us to connect offline. So this is a picture of a WordCamp. Everybody just take a second to look around. Look at how crowded this room is. And surely you guys don't know everybody in this room. You showed up. Today is like the hardest part is done. You drove here this morning. You got here. You flew on a plane, whatever it is. You're at WordCamp. Open yourselves. I know that you guys are probably thinking like, man, well, I just really wanted to know a really cool theme to use or some new way of, you know, adding plugins to my site. And I'm sorry, I'm not the most technical, so I'm not going to talk to you about that. But I can help you think through, yes, maybe I'm here to learn about a certain plugin or theme or, you know, way of executing something in WordPress. But how am I going to do that? You're going to have to interact with people. You are. Yes. You're going to have to talk to speakers. You're going to have to you know, go shake up your hands with people at the after party. But you should do it with an excitement because they have knowledge that you don't have. That's the key, is that everybody sitting in this room has something amazing about them that nobody else can replicate. And so when you start to allow yourself to be changed by the people that you surround yourself with, your world literally opens up. Um, an example that I can kind of share briefly about myself is going to word camps and the people that I have met throughout the times that I have, you know, gone to WordCamp San Francisco or WordCamp Los Angeles or being fortunate to go to WordCamp Europe, the WordPress community is the same everywhere I go. Everybody is genuine, everybody is friendly, everybody is nice. So they make talking to strangers really easy. But that still didn't really, you know, push me to do anything. I was going to word camps, I was sitting in the audience, and it took a few friends who I had made in the WordPress community to say, why not you? Why don't you get up there? And I'm not saying everybody has to get up and give a talk on the stage because it's still pretty scary, even though I'm getting a little bit more comfortable doing this. Um, not, not public, uh, public speaking is not for everybody. But again, you all have something amazing about you that I don't know, and I would love to be able to learn from you. So whether that's you writing a blog post about it and then sharing it, or you know, finding me and having a conversation with me about it, I really want to be impacted by you, and I hope that you can be impacted by me because that's how we're going to make this community stronger. So this is another fun story. Has anybody heard of the Dunbar number before? Yes, another one you guys don't know. <laughs> the Dunbar number is, um, it was thought about by a gentleman named Robin Dunbar. He's an anthropologist in um, Britain. And basically this idea of a number that is a sweet spot that is for humans to have interactions. So he came up with the number 100 to 200-ish and basically said, that is the amount of interactions that you can have. Do you guys think that you have about 100 to 200 friends that you, you know, say that you, in a lifetime? Yeah, that's the amount of interactions that you can have in a lifetime, connections. You what? You don't agree with it at all? Good. I don't either. And he even kind of questioned himself because as technology became more and more uh, predominant, those relationships started becoming more um, online and less offline. And the time that we would interact with people shifted because they were a little bit more quicker conversations. Um, but I, say, I share this number because I think that it's important to highlight, yes, ignore the number, but don't ignore the number. Because there are about 250 people at this WordCamp. And so rather than one or three, I think that you guys should meet everybody here. I think that you should make connections with everybody in this room because everybody brings something to the table that makes them unique, which is why they're here this morning. You're here to meet other people, learn, gain knowledge, and what better than to learn from your peers in the WordPress community. So we talked a little bit about offline versus online. Um, one of the things that I, in addition to kind of challenging myself to meet strangers is I started going to networking meetups. Do you guys go to networking meetups? Yes, wonderful. Meetups are great and they're also very scary, similar to getting on stage. Um, I'm a food blogger in my spare time and I started food blogging about six months ago. 
And I had made all these really amazing relationships with people online. We followed their blogs. It was wonderful. But then when it came time to meeting them in person, things got a little scary. And so I had to kind of take my own advice and push myself to, you know, getting out there, getting connected. And so I started going to the meetups more frequently and started making friends with these people who have, like, literally helped me grow my blog in a way that, that just it, ha it wouldn't have happened had I not been open to those people changing my life. And so, yes, I look at the online relationships and how important they were for me to have those conversations, but then being able to transition it into offline made all the difference because now they're people who I, you know, can call and ask about a certain plugin that they're using for their site or ask about a great restaurant that they have tried that I'm considering going and checking out. And so, as much as you guys are involved in WordPress meetups, as much as this talk is about giving back to the WordPress community, it's also kind of in every aspect of your life just being receptive to the people around you and the impact that you can have just by being friendly and open to talking to people. That's really what this talk is about. Just talk to strangers. <laughs> really. So challenging yourself. So who's with me? Who's going to totally show up and talk to a stranger at the after party tonight? Yes, thank you. I would love to talk to you guys too. Um, really because as much as I stand up here and I, you know, kind of think that I know some things. Um, you guys are the ones who I really want to talk to and interact with because you guys are the ones who are doing this. You're on the ground, you're building sites, you're working with clients, you're working with customers, you're working with hundreds of people to, you know, two people. You have stories and I think that's the really important thing is you all have stories that are unique and that are not the same as my story. Um, so another, another story. <laughs> is, have you guys heard of Simon Sinek? Yes. Yes, yes he's given a TED Talk. Um, he's written some books. Um, one of my favorite books is Start With Why. And so, again, when kind of thinking of a way to create a narrative for how I was going to kind of share my thoughts with you guys, I really wanted to pull in his story because it basically, the root of it is intention. Um, so, yes, I could totally go meet every one of you and that would be great, right? Because like I met you and I'm done and like I can leave now because I know your name, right? No, absolutely not. Um, part of it is the intention behind what we're doing and why we're interacting with each other and the authenticity of those relationships. Um, so his book basically talks about starting with why. A lot of people go to the how they're going to solve a problem or what is the problem, but why are we solving a problem? Like why are we here? Like. Why did we show up today? Why are we at WordCamp? Um, for me, it really is about hopefully impacting just one of you. I just want to inspire one of you to do something that changes somebody else's life because by doing that, you are going to change your own life. And I think that we all want to be, um, you know, having, having our lives changed, right? We want to have exciting lives. We want to live meaningful lives where we know that we've impacted other people and where we have also been impacted, where we're learning, where we're growing. Um, we're human beings at the end of the day, and so relationships are very important to us actually um, having that true happiness. And so part of it is, is understanding the intention, the why you're here. And so I kind of want to ask you guys, um, why are you here? Are you trying to learn new skills? Why are you here? Does anybody want to share? I love it. He said there's so much he doesn't know. That is so true. There's so much that we all don't know. And that's why we show up today. And so don't let today be wasted by sitting in your desk chair, talking to the people that you showed up with this morning, um, you know, going about it with the same way that you think that you should be going about your day. Push yourself into that uncomfortable area. Go sit in a talk that might be a little technical for you. Go talk to somebody who might, you know, seem like you wouldn't have a conversation with them. Go be bold and interact with them. Um, is anybody here trying to grow their business? Yeah. Want to share a little bit?
love it. Thank you for sharing. See, this is helpful because basically I'm just up here to help connect you guys to each other. I don't know if you guys are going to share your stories on your own, but I'm hopeful that you will because maybe somebody heard what you are talking about and wants your business card and wants to connect with you. Yes, magic happening. That is the important part of why we all showed up to WordCamp today and benefiting from the people that we're meeting and being able to walk away with um, you know, relationships and ideas and you know, maybe even just a little glimmer of that you can change the world. I really want you to feel that you can change the world. Because you can. Because we are. We're here. WordPress is changing the world. So we're doing it together. Um, so part of that is actively participating. So really going back to, yes, you showed up, and yes, you were sitting here, but are you actively um, you know, participating in the conversation? Um, I kind of relate this to active listening. Do you guys know what that is? Like, yes, I'm totally listening, but I'm on my phone and I'm like checking my email and you're like pretending to pay attention to somebody. It's like, yes, are you sitting in this session and you're listening and we're all nodding together and we're raising our hands and that's fine because I don't care. My feelings won't get hurt if you are or aren't listening. But what I'm really trying to get you guys to understand is you are affected. You at the beginning of the day are the one who wakes up and you are the person at the end of the day who goes to bed. And if you do not do something in those 24 hours, you're the one who loses out. I don't lose out, right? I don't go home to your house. I don't go, you know, hang out with your kids. I'm not the one who's running your business. You are. And so what are you going to do with that time? What are you going to do with the resources that you have in this room alone? There are so many people here who know so many amazing things. Please take advantage of them. So part of this is also, you know, I learn in marketing. Give people numbers. Give them things to be tangibly, you know, put on their you know, website or write down notes and then act upon. So let's talk about some of them. So give before you receive. I think that one is something that I tried to highlight in the beginning of my slide is to help others first. Um, by helping others first, you actually do help yourself because you give a little bit of yourself up and, and it actually, you know, it makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Um, my example is I started mentoring teenagers. Yes, teenagers. Um, <laughs> they can be crazy at times and they take up a lot of time and I love them. They are so young, awe-inspired little people and they want to change the world. And so, yes, sometimes I go to these meetups with them and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's on my Sunday from four to six. I can't, you know, yes. They over time have literally helped me be a better me just by giving myself up to them. And so by opening up and giving first, I am the one who receives. So again, remember, we are all here because ourselves, but then we are also helping others. That's the whole beauty of it. So ask for an introduction. Um, I can probably point out 10 to 15 to 20 people in this room who are very connected. They and I would probably be more than likely, I'm speaking for you guys, I'm kind of looking at you in the back row. Yes, you know who you are. Um, there are people in this community who you might not know because you're new. There are people in this community who you might not know because you're afraid to talk to them and they're so-and-so on Twitter and it's really scary. But remember, WordPress is a genuine, polite, connected, happy, friendly community and we want to help you succeed. And so if there's somebody that you do not know, please ask me and I will totally help give you an introduction. I don't know that person, sorry, but you know. Um, go for quality. So, again, kind of going back to the, yes, there's a lot of people in the room, and I gave you the challenge to meet everybody, and I know that that's kind of really ridiculous and a really big challenge to give you, but at the same time, try to make as many relationships as you can meaningful relationships, and always start with them first. Get to know them, let them tell themselves to you, and then you can talk about yourself. Um, make sure you follow up. A pro tip that I do is every time I get somebody's business cards, and maybe you guys do this and you don't need to hear it, but for those of you who do need to hear it, um, whenever you get somebody's business cards, do you put it in your pocket and then you wash your pants and then you lost the business card? <laughs> Russell does. <laughs> I do it all the time. All the time. Thank you for being my example. Your partner's in that too. Yes. <laughs> That's okay because you have me on Twitter. Um, Make sure you're following up with people. So whether it's a tweet, whether it's an email, whether it's you know an in-person, you see them down the street because they're your neighbor. Don't just start that conversation and that relationship. Make sure that you're, you're cultivating it and that you're, hello, it was so nice to meet you. You know, I met you at WordCamp Las Vegas and we talked about this. Remind them why you met them and how you met them. It will definitely help with the relationship building. Um, 
but don't just start, you know, don't just put the effort into building that friendship and then fall flat just because you didn't follow up with them or continue talking to them and having that relationship continue growing. Um, figure out what their passion is. So yes, this is two-way. You want to engage with them and understand what they are, who they are, what they bring to the table. Because hopefully you guys are a little bit dot connectors like me and you're thinking, ooh, you know what, I just met somebody who totally loves talking to beginners. And so all you beginners out there, totally go connect with her because she is a great resource for you. And so try to, you know, we want to be thoughtful of ourselves and how we're going to help grow our network, but also think of others. And that's how you're going to help grow this community. Um, deepen your network pool. We want to have really deep, meaningful relationships and not really shallow, quick, you know, flavor of the week ones. And then seek common ground. Again, I gave you guys an easy one. You're all here because of WordPress. So start there. It's really simple. Talk about WordPress. This is the fun part because, yes, I talk about how you're going to connect with people and grow your business and all that fun stuff. And I forgot what I was even talking about, too. So that's OK. Um, but the important part is, is giving back. So I'm going to call out Russell again just because we're here. He's here. He's in the, kind of the front row. Russell organized WordCamp Las Vegas so every one of you could be here today. Let's give him a round of applause. Yes. Russell, I love you, but you cannot quite possibly do it all yourself. And he didn't, so like, yes. Word camps, meetups, uh, you know, creating documentation, creating experiences like this for us to come and enjoy, it doesn't happen overnight, and it doesn't happen by one person. And so I hope that you all feel moved and compelled enough, whether this is your community or you live somewhere else, like I'm from Austin, Texas, um, that you want to get involved and you want to help remember just, just impact one person. By doing a word camp, you can impact 250 people. But you have the ability at your fingertips to help make an impact and to help make things like this happen so that we can all show up and connect and get something out of it. Because at the end of the day, that's what we want. We want to get smarter. We want to get more connected. We want to make more money. Everything falls suit. Um, so I created kind of a little list to share with you of some ways, for those of you who do not know, um, the importance of giving back to WordPress is not just through WordCamps or meetups. There are so many amazing ways by giving back to Core, by helping out with design. Because WordPress is an open source project, we all have the opportunity to help give back in whatever way that looks like. Um, accessibility. Polygots, let's say you speak multiple languages, you can totally help translate WordPress into those multiple languages so other people maybe in another country can have access to WordPress. Um, plugins, community training, Metaflow TV, there are so many amazing ways. Make.wordpress.org is a great resource and I'm hopeful that some of you will feel compelled just to go check out that URL because I'm telling you, once you get involved, it's infectious and you don't want to stop. I um, you know, help be a part of our local meetups in Austin. I help organize word camps in Austin. Um, coming and speaking at word camps is a way of giving back and getting involved. Anything that you can do, videographing is a great example. Maybe you don't want to stand in front of people on stage, but you can man a camera. We can use you. You can help make sure that this other people's talks that are very, very good get seen by other people. That is a great thing that we can have as a resource and it takes somebody like you stepping up and saying, you know what, that could be me or I would love to help out that way. And so I'm hoping that this excites you guys a little bit to do that. Um, another one is uh, this local Las Vegas uh, city has a meetup itself. So for those of you who are involved, wonderful, continue being involved. For those of you who are not involved, I challenge you as one of the ways for you to network a little bit more is participating in the meetup. So this magic that happens once a year in this WordCamp situation happens pretty much monthly, right, right, Russell? Yeah, the meetup does, yeah. And it happens here at Innovation Center. It's very true. It does. It's true. Yes, yeah, so if you're involved, again, maybe you're new to WordPress and you're like, well, I feel more comfortable if I was in like a young entrepreneurs group or, you know, whatever your 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 feeling may be, get involved, make some friends, and share your story because it's important. Um, so kind of before I, I leave you, I want to share three simple rules in life that I kind of run my life by. Um, one, if you do not go after what you want, you will never have it. Um, it's something that I, again, I challenge myself basically every day of my life to say yes to opportunities. Um, don't, don't let yourself be the reason to say no to something. Because um, you're basically shutting a door without even knowing what the answer is. Um, an example I kind of give is, 
you know, asking somebody if you can have something of theirs. And you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to ask them if they're going to say yes or no to me. Well, how do you know if you don't ask? Are they going to actually tell you no? Maybe, possibly they could tell you no. But you're not going to know that answer until you ask for it. And so don't be the person to shut the door on yourself. Let the door shut, on, shut, shut you on yourself, yes. Um, so if you don't ask, the answer will always be no. And if you do not step forward, you will always be in the same place. Um, again, part of this is me sharing my story. I am terrified of public speaking. I majored in communications, but that does not mean that this is any more comfortable for me. This is me actively getting up in front of my fear and staring it down. Why? Because I want to grow as a person, because I want to challenge myself, and because I don't want to look back 10 years and say, man, you know what, I really should have done that. Um, I want to stand, stand up proudly and say, you know what, I did something that scared me today, and so I hope that I inspire all of you to do something that scares you today, too. Thank you. My name is Shada Tarabi, and if you have questions, I'll be here all weekend. Thank you.